you guys are torches. Go ahead and grab a torch, approach a flame, and get fire. We do this because, as you all know, fire represents your life in this game. Jenna's torch will not be lit because Jenna's no longer in the game. Have a seat. So we are here tonight merely to deal with the formality of Jenna's exit from the game. Before we get to that, reactions back at camp. Once all this had played out, Richard, what happened when you guys got back to camp? We talked a little bit about what some of the other folks on the other tribes had to say, but we'd been talking with Jenna all along. We know what she was going through. We, uh, we understood it, and we were prepared for what she had to say when we got to the immunity challenge. How about for you, Colby? We actually encouraged her to walk away from the game because, you know, there was too much negative energy in our tribe uh, with her being there because she wasn't 100%, and, and we didn't feel like she was ever going to be. Shean, what was your take on everything? Jenna made the right decision. I feel like she made an extremely mature decision for her age, um, and I'm very proud of her for walking away from the game with such dignity and respect for the other contestants. There is a certain amount of accountability in saying, I'll be here and be one of your tribe members. I've changed my mind for whatever reason. This is a game of numbers. You just lost one. Kathy? You know, you feel like there should be some, because I know that there was a decision that she made before coming here, and she wanted, she wanted to come here and play the game. I can see how some of the other players feel. A commitment's a commitment, but family, forget it. I mean, if my son, if anything happened to him, I'd be swimming home. So, no. I don't think in this situation. It's a tough one, but I don't think so. There is a level of accountability because our numbers have now been reduced from six to five. Do we throw our hands up and, and walk away from the game or, or mope around the, the camp and pout about it? No. You pick yourself up and you try harder. We don't want to lose again. And if anything, it's brought this tribe closer. It really has. I mean, our attitude's improved because it was really hard living with somebody that didn't know what to do and asking opinions all the time. So even though we're a smaller group, I think the energy's really positive. And we're happy that Jenna is where she should be. Lex, what's your take on this? Although we may admit that there is accountability in this situation, that we're all going to have to account for her actions, it's not a question of blame, and it's not a question of guilt. It's just a question of she did what probably all of us would have done, given her situation. And now we're prepared to just walk on and take it from there. It is time to lay down Jenna's torch. Well. You know, when people are voted out, you snuff out their torch. When people quit, you know, there is some accountability. And we as a tribe would like to lay her torch down, if, if you'd allow that. And we'd all like to do it together, just as a show of respect for Jen and her family. All right. Would it grab a hand? Seems like there are two things to think about. One, as we speak, Jenna's on her way home, so you can feel good about that. Two, in a game of numbers, you're down one, which is never good. Grab your torches, head back to camp, stay strong. Good night, guys.